In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple point and click navigation system in Unity that uses a nav mesh so that our character will successfully walk around objects and not go through our environment. I also want to remind everyone that you can download the full script from my website, mwesterstudios.com. There I also have a lot of other great resources for you to check out, such as other scripts, videos, and free assets. Okay, so I've got this pretty simple office layout here just for the tutorial and I'm using this humanoid character from the third person fly asset pack which I'll have a link to in the description. I've also got this red sphere down here in the bottom just kind of tucked out of the way for now but we will be using this later. I've also got it scaled half in size. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up our navigation system. And what a nav mesh actually is, is it's basically an overlay put on top of our map or our environment that defines walkable areas for our characters. And so to do this we want to make sure first of all that our player character has what's called the nav mesh agent component. So nav mesh agent. I'm going to add this, make sure it's set to humanoid. Our base offset, this will depend on your game. For my setup here, I'm going to be using 0.1, and that makes it so he doesn't hover against over the ground. Speed, I'm also going to slow down this just a bit so he's walking at, at a nice slow pace, 1.75. Angular speed, this will affect how quickly he turns around. So I want this to be pretty high. I'm going to put this at 600. And acceleration as well up to 60. Everything else looks good, so we're done there. Now we want to go ahead and open up our navigation tab. To do that, we can go to Window, AI, Navigation. And here, once we're in navigation, I want to double check our agent. All the settings are good. Areas as well. And come over to Object or Bake. And under Bake, we can just bake and see what happens. And so it should be pretty quick for you guys. Uh, and this looks really good. This came out really nice. Sometimes you'll have to do some fine tuning. If these aisleways are too thin for your character to go through, or they don't quite connect, you can fix this by changing your agent radius. So if we lower this to example 0.25 and bake a new one, you can see that our area is expanded a lot more because there's a lot more room for our character to go around in. But for the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and stick with 0.5 and bake. Now, if you guys were to press play right now, you'd see that nothing actually happens because there's no input method controlling our character yet. So first things first, we have to create what's called an animator controller for our character's animations. So to do this, we're going to come in here. Let's go ahead and create animator controller. And we will just call this animator controller character. You can call it whatever you want. We'll double click to open it up in the animator window. And here in the animator window, we're going to go ahead and create a quick state machine. Now, I'm not going to go too in-depth in this. It'll be very quick and easy to understand, I hope. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. I also do have two animations that I'm already going to be using, an idle animation and a walk animation. You don't need these exact ones. You can find any animations for any character, and it should work just fine. Uh, Mixamo has plenty for free as well, so I'll be posting a link for them in the description. But let me just drag in my idle as well as my walk. Basic walk forward in place, that's what I want. And perfect, so we ha already have idle is orange, which means it's set as default, which is what we want. We're gonna go ahead and make a transition over to our walk. Right click our walk, make a transition back to our idle. And we wanna make a couple of conditions to make sure that this knows when to switch between the animations. So first of all, we're going to come over here to parameters, create a new bool, and we're going to call this is walking and just leave it at that. Now here we're going to click on this first transition from idle to walk and under conditions add and make sure that is walking is set to true and as well this way make sure that is walking is set to false. We also want to uncheck has exit time so that way it knows that it's stopping the animation immediately and that is actually good to go. So now we're going to come back into our scene and we click on our player and we're going to add a new script. We will just call this character control script. And create an add. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. Now that we're in Visual Studio, we can start by removing these first two lines. We will not need it. Uh, this one as well. But we are going to need a new reference here using Unity Engine dot AI. And we're also going to start by creating a couple of variables. We will first create a public camera 
and we'll just call this cam public nav mesh agent and we will call this player and we will then create a public animator player animator and last variable a public game object target dest dest for destination and we can also go ahead and remove our start function we won't need that under update we're going to do a quick check to see if our player clicks anywhere in the game so to do this we're going to start with an if statement if input dot get mouse button down zero for the left mouse button open brackets ray ray is equal to cam dot screen point to ray input dot mouse position raycast hit hit point and a new if statement if physics dot raycast ray out hit point open brackets target dest dot transform transform dot position is set to hit point dot point and then one more line under here player dot set destination to hit point dot point so what this does is we're taking our camera and our screen and creating a raycast from our player directly to the point in which we click and what that does is here in the navigation I forgot the semicolon is the navigation will then take this method or this line of code set destination and will plot a path over our nav mesh for our player to get there without running through any walls or going over any obstacles now we also want to do a couple other things because if we were to do this right now and just play our animator wouldn't know when to switch between animations so we'd actually be stuck in the idle animation the whole time and we don't actually want that we want to go ahead and switch between idle and walking whenever our players moving versus not moving so to do this we're going to come down a bit and we're going to create a new if statement if player dot velocity is not equal to vector three dot zero well so if our player is moving oh I forgot the O and zero if our player is moving we want to set our boolean that we created earlier under the animator window to is walking true so to do that we can go ahead and call on our animator player animator dot set bool open parentheses quotations is walking comma true and this will go ahead and set that to true for us now we want to do a very similar action so we can go ahead and just copy this to make it easier come down a line type in else and then paste else if player to velocity this time we want to say is equal to zero so if our player is not moving if he's done moving well we want to not be walking anymore so we'll go ahead and switch this to false and that's actually all we need so let's save it and go back into unity really quickly i just found an error i actually misspelled point if you caught that good job if not that's what the problem is all right so now that we're back in unity we can just go ahead and assign our variables here so we can take our main camera go ahead and drop it into our cam slot our player to player as well as to our player animator target destination is what i'm using the sphere for so we can take our target destination and drag oh, go back to that and drag it onto our target dest and what this does is this will move it to where we click just so that we have a visual idea of where our player's destination is it's not at all necessary but it's very helpful so come back to our project where we created our animator controller and we're going to drag that onto our character controller here and so now if we press play this should work you can see him in the idle position and if you go ahead and just click somewhere on the screen you can see our target destination teleported there the transform was changed so that it updated and our player is using our nav mesh correctly going around the walls he stopped walking whenever he reached his destination going back to the idle and we can test it here as well he is correctly using our nav mesh going around all the obstacles 
And you can also change the destination when he's still en route. And there you have it. That is how to create a pretty simple, very effective point and click navigation system in Unity. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel and posting any ideas you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.